What's up YouTube? It's your boy Scarver, back with another really cool video. So, uh, this time I decided I want to start a RuneScape playthrough. I want to upload these playthrough videos on Friday. Now, this video obviously is going to be up on Tuesday. That is my, that's going to be when it starts. And then it's going to move to Friday. Now, I'm still going to do Tuesday uploads, I think. <laughs> We're gonna see how this goes. So, if all goes well, <laughs> you guys will be getting two videos a week from me. Um, may not happen, we're gonna see. I'm gonna try and get ahead. So this is an attempt to get ahead. Um, I have my next Friday video filmed, of course, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, but anyways, without further ado, here's the video. So essentially, the, the quest that we're about to do is the Mistalan Mystery, which is that this lady's friends uh, got attacked at this party, and I'm going to the party, and I gotta go save them, or avenge them, or something. I think they're already dead, so. This is D&D Gone Bad. Ooh, Spoopy Island. Let's all appreciate the Spoopy Island, guys. Oh, boy. Woo, party on, bro! Oh god. Oh no, 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 no. No, sir, sir, sir. Did I just seriously stand here and let this man die? I just let this man die. Why'd they let this go on so long? Yeah, I just stood there and watched this man literally get murdered. Why are they doing so many- <laughs> Just die. I wonder what that was that I saw fall into the barrel. Gee, I wonder if I need to search the barrel or search Sid's dead corpse. Just reach in the barrel. Oh my gosh, you're stupid. Use the bucket to get the water out of the barrel. Search the barrel. You find a key at the bottom of the barrel. I cannot get around this measly, one measly barrel. Use the key on the door. Use the key on the door. Use the key on the door. Yeah. Magic time. What is it? Take knife. Oh boy. Another cutscene. Here we go, guys. I wonder what's gonna happen to her. Ew. That's such a weird noise for a girl to make. No. Once again, I'm just letting this man murder people relentlessly. Why? What am I doing? Isn't murder just a work of art? Beautiful, yet haunting like the blade of a knife as we wander through the valley of death. Oh, I made that joke. Oh, okay. So they made that joke too. Huh? The door is securely locked. And there's a weird glowing patch in the wall. The door is securely locked. I already used my dang key. The door okay, well, I guess I'm going upstairs, guys. Wonder what's gonna happen when I get upstairs. Wonder if I'm gonna see someone die. Who knows? We're gonna see. We're gonna find out. Here, the stairs don't look so safe. What do you want me to do? Oh, this door's unlocked. Um, let's see. Is this door unlocked? Nope. Is this door unlocked? Nope. What do you want me to do? Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> it's like a work of art. Maybe they want me to look at the art. A tree in autumn. Let's examine a gloomy looking valley. Oh. Yeah. The red 
key, everybody. Or pink. Search the crate. You search the crate but find nothing. You search the crates and find nothing. You search the sacks. And I'm assuming there's nothing interesting in these sacks. Let me guess. There's nothing interesting in these sacks. You search the crate, but find nothing. You search the crates, but find nothing. You search the crate, but find nothing. You examine the barrel, but find nothing. I have a really bad idea. Make it go boom boom. Fuse is too damp to light. Well then. Guess it's time to go home. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna go home. Open the wardrobe to make sure there isn't a murderer in there. The wardrobe is empty. When I open this one, there's gonna be a corpse that falls out, isn't there? Nope. Okay, wardrobe is still empty. Door is securely locked. We try and cut the table. Attempt to cut the table. I have, like, very little clue of what they want me to do. Let me try and cut the fuse, maybe. Cut the fuse? Nothing interesting happens. Still too damp, I'm assuming. Okay. Can I move the barrel? Go back. Wait, maybe cut some of the sack? I don't know. I'm just trying whatever. Um... Use knife on the unlit candle. You light the candle. And last one, we're gonna see if it works. Who's ready for absolutely nothing to happen? The Loomis, oh, that's not even how that works. That's not how life works. Yeah, go. Maybe if you run. Oh, look, nothing happened. Go. Cool. The remains of a barrel. Okay, so now I can climb the damaged, climb through the damaged wall. You know, I couldn't do that before, even though it was like the same height. It's not gotten significantly shorter by doing that, so... What do I know? Huh? No, she's not in a tree. Oh, boy. Conveniently there. To Please stop this. Just let me go. Oh, gosh. Whether you get hurt or not is entirely up to you. Your fate is in your own hands. Leave her alone, you monster. Ah, Scarver 40. How kind of you to join us. Now, if you see another word, I will end her right here. Sorry, where were we? Ah, yes, of course. The game. Do you like quests, Lacey? Um, sure. I, I like quests. Do you like scary quests? Uh-huh. What's your favorite kind of scary quest? I, I don't know. You have to have a favorite. Um, the one with that vampire in it who lives in a big house. Good, good. And now for the game I spoke about. I'm going to ask you one question. Get it wrong and you die, but get it right and you live. Oh, Gothix, please no, please don't. I don't want to die. Then think hard about your answer. You like vampires, so this should be easy for you. The question is this. 
Who is the vampire that resides in South Mistalin? I need to say nothing. Because if I say something, he's going to kill her. Count Draenor. Oh, Lacey, Lacey, Lacey. I did tell you to think hard about your answer. Count Draenor is in fact a vampire, and he does reside in his manor in Mistalin. But that manor is in West Mistalin. I was talking about Count Check. Thanks for playing. No, you tricked me. This isn't fair. Ask me another. Too late. Sorry, Lacey. But you answered the question wrong. <laughs> Why did he even leave me a note when he actually talked to me? It's like music to my ears, the glorious sounds, spelling out your fate. Gee, I wonder if I have to, you know, play the piano. Maybe. There's no T, so I don't know. Thanks. Dead. Yeah. Let's light the unlit candle. Because I like to light the candles. What do you mean nothing interesting happens? They're candles. At least light them. You dumb head. Uh, where's the dumb green door? Okay. Go for it, but no. Is this door open? It was locked. It, then it was locked from the other side. Why didn't you let me just... Mm. It's like, it can't be locked from both sides. That's not how doors work. <laughs> so you have to be able to unlock it from one side without a key. Nothing is better than living in Jigsaw. I mean, in Saw. I forget, it's not Jigsaw. It's Saw. Oh, boy. Wonder what's gonna happen in here. You think... Think she's gonna live? Why am I the one who's always left clearing up after everyone? You're gonna have to clear up their corpses soon. Hello? Lacey? Sid? Scratch? Hmm. Well, I guess I should go check it out. No point in staying in this nice locked room when I could go out into the creepy darkness. Seriously? Oh, and I don't think there's any need to take this big, shiny weapon with me in order to defend myself. Nothing bad ever happens when people go to check out weird noises in the dark. Okay, well, here I go. They're really, they're really leading into this trope, aren't they? He's gonna come out of that dang closet. He's gonna come out of that dang closet. <laughs> I knew. I hate my life. <laughs> Then what even was... Okay, so was the rest... <laughs> I don't know. That psycho. He was just toying with her. Isn't he toying with me too? You do... Like, you do realize he's toying with you too, right? Like... He's not stupid.
I'm going to grab that big sword. <laughs>